One billion, it's an enormous number. That's how many people live with a disability across the world right now. That's one in seven people on the planet. It should be common sense that all of us, including people with disability, have huge potential to contribute to our families and communities. We each have the right to lead full lives with equal opportunities and live free from discrimination and exclusion. But today, let's just stop and think about what living with disability is like for those in the world's poorest countries. The reality is, people living with a disability are often being left out from school, from work and from healthcare, and so run a much greater risk of living in poverty because of their disability. But here's the kicker. Millions of people who live in poverty run a greater risk of disability because of things like dirty water, malnutrition and unsafe working conditions. So if you have a disability, you're more likely to live in poverty. And if you live in poverty, you're more likely to have a disability. It's an insistent, unfair cycle that traps and continues to marginalise those who are in it. But there are actions that will end the cycle. If every person with a disability can be recognised as valuable, contributing members of their family and society without discrimination and regardless of gender, and if all children with disability have the opportunity to go to school and their teachers have the training and skills and the ability to teach and classrooms include all people, then we have the opportunity to end the cycle. If every person with a disability has the opportunity to work, and generate income, rising above stigma and negative attitudes. And when there is access to healthcare, not only treatment but also information for every person with a disability everywhere, then the end of the cycle is in sight. The rights of people with disability all over the world need to be championed by a world of people. People like you and me, who are prepared to end the cycle. We need to be part of the change that sees policies and agreements stay on target, empower every individual with a voice of their own to express views, raise awareness and advocate for their own rights. Until all these things happen, we're missing the opportunity to make real and lasting changes for some of the world's most marginalised people. Imagine how much richer every community will be when it welcomes the active and valuable contributions of every one of its members. So get involved, raise your voice, become part of the change. End the cycle.